Ready to go for a walk, buddy? Oh, I know. <laughs> Dad's been gone for three days. You're ready to go for a walk, I know. All right, I'll be out in a minute. Hey guys, uh, just back out in the bush at my place, set up another trail camera right there. And this is on the trail that goes up to our gifting log. There's only one spot to get up on this big rock, so I like to leave a camera there because we get all the animals, coyotes, fox, deer, everything coming up onto this big clearing. Here's the clearing, they love to use this. You can see a couple of game trails there behind me, so great spot for a camera. I just got home. I was uh, down in Lindsay visiting my aunt and uncle. Ah, you gotta love visiting family you haven't seen in a while. Things don't change. It's slow down there. Farming country. Uh, and it just reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go down there camping all the time with my grandparents and had a great weekend. So Uncle Mike uh, works in a wood shop. I'm gonna put a little clip in here for you guys. Uh, we're gonna help Uncle Mike out. We're gonna promote some of his stuff. So check this out. Hey guys, Unfrequented World. I'm out of town this week visiting my uncle. We're in his wood shop and he's got a really cool machine over here behind me. I'll show you guys. He's got a laser engraver and he does a lot of stuff on pine and um, do you do hardwood stuff? Yeah, maple. Maple. Live edge. Yeah, and he sells it. So I'll show you guys the machine. It's really cool. Check this out. Safety first, kids. He tells me this laser only uses as much power as a 40 watt uh, light bulb. He's doing a, an image here of Gage for my daughter, so that's pretty cool. So here's some of the images that uh, Uncle Mike can, he can do any image on wood, glass, metal, softwood, hardwood, all kinds of stuff. But if you guys have anything, even custom stuff, he can do anything. Look at that. So in honor of our search for the big guy, Uncle Mike has done up a couple engravings here and we're going to give these away on the channel. In the upcoming videos, I am going to figure out something and we're going to give away these three wood engravings. So thanks Uncle Mike and I'll give you guys contact information for Mikey's laser engraving. So like, share and subscribe please. Thank you. All right, so in the upcoming videos, we're gonna give away each one of those three uh, engravings. And um, we'll just do something like the first 250 comments and thumbs up or something. We'll randomize it and I'll give one of those away to uh, a person randomly for each of the upcoming videos that we do. And I'll mention it at the beginning of the video and again at the end to remind you guys, leave a comment and a thumbs up and we'll start uh, giving those out, okay? Uh, they're fantastic. My daughter wants one. She says she's gonna watch every video and leave a comment with a thumbs up So if she randomly wins she says that I'm not allowed to not give her one So you guys got to do the same right you got to get you got to beat Kaylee because she's gonna be in there like a dirty shirt, so So I had a couple of you guys uh, make note of howtohunt.com. He started his video on September the 3rd by burning a face mask. And that's all he has to say about that. Well, that made me angry. I swore I'd never mention that guy in this channel again, but I guess that's what he's doing, right? He's promoting hate and anger on his channel so that people Spread the word. It doesn't matter if you thumbs up or thumbs down him. He's getting interaction and it gets spread, right? So all I can recommend to you guys is somebody that is that ignorant, burning masks when, you know, millions of people are dying or sick around the world. A lot of you guys know I work in the healthcare system. I run a physician clinic. And uh, it's just ignorance. It has nothing to do with Bigfoot. 
And why would you even, you know, it's just to stir the pot and make people angry. That's the kind of guy this is. He just doesn't care about anyone or anything. And I don't understand how people don't see that. So, you know, I, I just implore you guys, don't watch the ignorance, right? What does that guy actually bring to the Bigfoot hunt or search? Nothing. All he's doing is retelling people's stories, which we know 75% of those are made up. They're entertainment. Uh, people seeking, you know, hey, look at me, here's my story, with no real proof, it's just a story, which is fine, for entertainment purposes. But he's not bringing anything himself to the hunt, other than a poor attitude. So I, I implore you guys, don't watch that garbage. And don't ask me to watch that garbage, because I won't. That made me angry. September 3rd. I would say go check it out and see how ignorant this guy is, but I don't want to promote him getting anything else out of it, but... Burning masks, the stupidity of it. Huh, check this out. Look at the twist. That doesn't happen naturally. Something has twisted this forcefully. You can see all the fibers are twisted right here. Bent it straight down to the ground here. And then not 10 feet away I see another little one here that's broken. Snapped off. Up there about 7 feet. Well, you guys can guess what I just found. It's kind of like the other TP. There's uh, another structure here. We're in a different part of the forest. I just keep moving over 100, 300 yards. Seems like we're finding these things all the time. I'm, I'm beginning to question, is this a weird random? I, I've looked at the bottom of the ones right here in front of me. They're just sitting here on the ground, just like the other one I showed you guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you guys. Y you'll see this structure better. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, and then three more on the other side. One there, four, and these two right here, five and six. And they're all kind of leaning right here. Now these two are actually still in the ground. They grew here. But if we look at the rest of these, there's a little one right here. So this one is leaning up here. Here's a good angle. You can kind of see them all leaning into each other. Look at this little one, for example, right here. Okay, we move the bottom of this. There's no stump there. And it didn't come from anywhere around here. It's, it's placed there. So all of them look the same placed except these two which are still growing out of the ground. We'll come over here. I checked these two out already. And the same thing. This one's actually sitting on top of a log. There's an old log in the ground. So I mean it's right on top of the log so there's definitely no stump. This one was not attached. And again where did it come from? I don't see a stump here. So, and another feature I'll point out, I don't know, I don't even know if this is natural or what this is, but I see these teepees and you can see them from a hundred yards away in the bush. They really stick out. They're always got these bare old dead trees, so they stick out. Look at this, beside it, there's another one that's pointing. It's broken, that stick comes up four feet and it's broken and then this is pointing right at the teepee structure. Let's take a closer look at this. I don't know, so it's broken right here. And it's pointing right into all of those leaners. Does that mean something? I don't know.
personally I have a really hard time believing that that is occurring naturally. I, I'm trying to show you guys there are no stumps. So how could it be occurring naturally? I don't know. That's what the third or fourth one we found like that here within a mile and a half. But then I begin to wonder and question, am I now that crazy guy pointing out natural things? Um, I'm not saying that that was placed there, but I can't really think of a rational way how they got there other than being placed there. So I guess I am kind of, it looks like they were placed there. Here's a really good game trail right here, just off from where that teepee is. But it's definitely not a hunting blind or anything like that. There isn't enough of them there. If somebody was putting a tarp around that, you'd probably want about 15 or 20 poles and they wouldn't be old rotten breakoffs like that. I don't know, I can't explain it. I'm just gonna follow this game trail for a ways. We don't usually go in this direction, so who knows what we'll find. I know I keep getting requests to put a camera on the back of my head, but guys, it takes me hours to make these videos already. It would literally double the amount of time if I have to sit there and watch GoPro footage behind me. I just don't have the time to do that. Um, now, if you guys want me to record it and just put up a chunk, an eight minute section here or there, and you guys want to go through it and look at it, I can do that. Um, but then I'm going to get all the complainers saying, oh, you need to hold your head straight. And I, you can't. When you're walking through the bush, you're ducking under trees, you're climbing over rocks. I can't guarantee you what that footage is going to look like. Will we find things on there? Absolutely, I think so. You guys have found things behind me. When I'm filming just like this, we've seen some things moving back there that are questionable. Um, I just, I physically don't have the time to analyze double the footage when I make these videos, so, knocking. It's very windy. I heard four knocks. I don't know if we picked that up on the microphone or not. Two knocks and then two knocks again. And the dog was running by too, so I won't know till we get home and check the computer, see if we can actually hear that on there. Again, what is that? I don't know. Is somebody else out here in the woods? I never see anybody out here. Always lots of ducks back here at the pond anyway. Could come back here at night and whack a few.
Here's a piece of cool granite. Check this out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. I've got three Sasquatch engravings. We're gonna start with this video right here. I lied. So those of you that stick to the end, hey, good on you guys. Thumbs up, give me a like, and leave a comment below, and we're gonna randomize the first, well, we'll just randomize all the comments, okay? Um, and whoever gets chosen can pick which engraving they want. And we have a Sasquatch face, we have the single Sasquatch in the forest, and we have the double Sasquatch in the forest. So you just tell me which one you want, and uh, give me your information once we draw the name, and I'll mail it out to you guys, okay? So, thumbs up and comment below for your chance to win one of those really cool Sasquatch engravings. Thanks for watching, guys.